Good morning, Internet. Today we are continuing work on the electrical system here. Uh, I want to relocate this uh, panel receptacle uh, down to its new position, which will be behind uh, this cover down here, somewhere in that area. Uh, the main reason I want to do that is then we can actually cut this board uh, right along here and give ourselves more access to the new panel. Um, first, I got to install another reinforcement up in here because you can see there's a 2x6 over there, but if we're going to cut this, then obviously that won't be doing anything. So I need to reinforce the back of the panel up here. Uh, that'll let me then slice this down. Then we also got to move this outlet over to its new position. So there's a bunch to do. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll make things a little bit easier to work in there and then uh, we'll have easier time installing new circuits. Bit of a progress update here. I have cut away the left side of the former panel, which gives us lots of room in here that we can use to install stuff in the new panel. Uh, this cover's back on. Haven't done this one yet because I'm actually going to run these wires that are down here, which are the circuits from the third floor. I uh, finally am going to finish the drilling through the ceiling. Funny story about that. The first time I did it, uh, I literally got through two studs and then the drill became stuck uh, because the second one I drilled through this guy up here which is actually a double stud and so the drill I was using a Forstner bit which is this guy right down here this big angry thing anyway so as it was going through um, it I, I didn't pull back out soon enough with the drill bit and so it ended up biting too much into the wood and then I didn't have enough strength to actually get the drill back out so I ended up uh, using this board down here with a hammer and just like pounding it back out because this drill unfortunately has no reverse gear and I put in the orange drill which does have a reverse uh, but it doesn't have enough torque to actually do it it's just like you know seizing up so yeah I ended up having to hammer the drill back out of the joist and after that I was just like that was so much work I'm, I'm done with this drilling for now but it's got to happen at some point so at some point might as well be now because we have a nice panel that I could hook it into so I think I'm going to drill the rest of these joists and then we'll get some wires run and actually tied in which will be exciting. Hey Steve, how did uh, how did all that electrical go the other day? Yeah, in my basement. Got the sub panel outlet moved. Yeah. And I almost finished drilling through the studs. Almost finished drilling through the studs. Or the joists, rather. Whatever those are. Um, so what happened? Um, there's one that didn't quite get done. What what happened? Tell me more. Well, I'm assuming you watched the clip about me confessing to the drill getting stuck the first time. What happened to your face? My face? Yeah, you're like all dirty. I've been insulating in drywall. I, I spent like three hours scooping insulation into a wall. We. We. That's true. We did that. I was yes. here with food. Wow, it's really dark in here. Maybe if we like backlight. Oh, look! I can see you now. It's almost <laughs> like I do this for a living. Yeah. So, so, I got to finish drilling through that floor joist. didn't joys. finish drilling through the floor joist, so the wires didn't get run today. No. No. But I did dispense an enormous quantity of wood shavings on the basement floor. You did. Which we should probably go show them. It's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> The other thing we sh that I was thinking is you have a wonderful giant drill that's really heavy. The one that has 
the right angle. Yeah. Would that work? To just go. What? It's stuck that you can't get through. How does the drill got That's... stuck in there? Oh. Do you need to go outside? Can we go outside? Come on, let's go. Come on. Why'd you stop? <laughs> Come on, let's go. From my perspective, that looked hilarious <laughs> because I just saw this little corgi butt shuffle between your legs and then back out. Come on, let's go. Downstairs. Down. Come on. There's a dog. Oh, it's bright. The kids are sleeping. Shh. So. See, this is the drill I got stuck. Yeah, that's that's, that's the, sad. The forger bit is not long enough to bore all the way through a double floor joist. Okay. So what I'm gonna have to do is I've got a hole on this side. And this is how you what you need to do tomorrow is do your measurements. I, I basically guess. you need to like compute coordinates to a common thing like maybe this gas line mm -hmm. like do like a measurement over and up and then do the same calculation on the other side and then bore through and then pray that the angles line up and they actually meet each other because mm -hmm. if any of them were askew then it would be missed. So yeah. The best way to do it would be some kind of like thin pilot bit that I could then use as a starter for the corner bit. The problem is that I don't have any thin pilot bits that are long enough. Mm. So actually I do, but it's a masonry bit which won't drill through wood. So there's a lot of wood shavings on the floor. And I will clean them up eventually. It's just a matter of time. So yeah, that, that double floor joist is the last thing that needs to be drilled through and then I can run all these wires through every single one of them. Like, double, oh, the one over there? Like I bored every other hole. All your other holes are ready to go? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, it'd be nice to get those pulled. I just need to drill through that last floor joist. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. You get over ambitious. I do. This is, this is a common problem with Steve. Is he's like, I'm gonna do all these things today. And then I do one of them. And you do one. <laughs> but at least you work on it. So hey, I'm back in the videos. Hi, how are you? I'm also juggling like a full-time job and kids. And hey now. And cooking for the rest of us. Because when you're working, like, I'm not gonna make you come home and be like, oh, sorry, I didn't make dinner. I so. appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna be back in the videos, which is great. Ta-da! At least until next weekend, and then I have to go back to work, because it's part-time, which is great. Um, they all made me cry at my other VFC when I left. It was sad. They are all like, you're leaving us. I'm like, sorry, guys. I now have a 20-minute commute and a part-time job. It's perfect, because that's what I wanted. Same, same, same place I wanted to work, and the <laughs> that was the goal. So that's done. So now I'm gonna try and get back on Twitch. I think we have a couple other things that we need to do here to get done because we have a lot going on. That I'm gonna have to go back to the RV at some point and actually start putting him back together because we've started booking trips. So we have May in the Carolinas and June in Florida. Oh, I need to ping J Dog. I'll ping him in the middle of the day because that's a safe time to ping and a trucker. You gave me a hard time uh, about okay. not contacting people. You were supposed. You were saying for three days you're gonna contact J Dog. It's on my list. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's it. It's a short video because... Because I was ambitious but didn't actually do much. Bad. <laughs> yes, bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go back upstairs so you can do what you were doing that you will see tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is ambitious but not rubbish, actually. We actually got a lot done in that video. What do you want? There's food in your bowl. There's food in your bowl. Go get the food in your bowl. What are you giving me a hard time about? There's food in your bowl. What do you mean? You have food in your bowl. Go on. Go eat your food. Go eat your food.